Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica. If you're new here, I do a ton of book content and book shopping and I love book shopping. It's like another fun hobby. And guess what we're doing today? We are going book shopping because why not? It's a very fun day today because we're going to a special Barnes and Noble for the first time and I'm so excited. I mostly chose this one because it has escalators and low-key I grew up on a Barnes and Noble that had an escalator and all the ones near me don't and I just feel like I needed that for this one. We're driving two hours away to do so <laughs> so that's that I got my Starbucks here we got a little sip of that um, they handed it to me and guess what I got because they handed this to me and I said that that does not look right so we're off to a really great start but I mean we're at Barnes & Noble so the day can only get better but I got that oh also it's a brown sugar shake and espresso and it's supposed to look a lot it's not supposed to look like this let's just say that anyways we're gonna go book shopping i have just like a few items that i have in mind other than that i really like to go into barnes and noble kind of more so like with an open mind really read the back of books and see if like that actually sounds good to me so there is that i'm so excited like literally i am so hyped for this I'm like nervous. I don't know. It's like going on like a first date or something. Like what is going on? But yeah, I'm super excited. Let's go ahead. Let's go to our little Barnes and Noble day. Let's have some fun. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let it, let's take off. I'm just like, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. See you at Barnes. stunning like my heart is so full I always feel like there's more books here too so I'm so excited it's beautiful like the size of the books but they're like those really cute old timey looking books where like they're super small oh is that a new book oh sorry Hi, is, yes. that, is that a new one because i'll take the orange one thank you for sure <laughs> it's which, um, it's the red one. Red, green, blue, 
whatever. That one. Pink. And then I think there's like a novella. The blue, it's a, oh it's yes. The blue one. Yes. I've heard that. Yes. And then this one. These are chunky. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll keep them busy for a while. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's a good thing. You're getting your money for Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, part of me wants to try them and see if they're worth it because they're just so cute. And like, I always see them at Barnes and Noble, but I don't know if like, if I should really try it, if it's worth it, you know? Let me show you. Like, this looks so cute, but like, I don't know. Maybe it would just be like a fun read, but it looks so old and like, I don't know, it's cute. <laughs> I'm actually really happy, but I'm trying to think of like other books that I want because there's so many and of course I don't have like all the money in the world. So I'm trying to like really narrow it down because there's a ton of books that I want that I've already read, but I read on Kindle. So I'm like debating if I want to spend money on a book I've already read or a new book. I don't know. I really don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. never had to get two bags of books before so this is one of them and then I got the other one so we got a ton of books and I'm literally so excited to talk about them and just show you what I ended up getting so the first one was a young adult fantasy this one is bound as one to love honor or burn a witch and a witch hunter so I just, that sounds so fun. There's also only two books in this one, which I really, really like because I am still going through Akatar and it's just series. I, I just want like a small series or a standalone fantasy. I don't know. So, and that's kind of hard to find, but this one I think only has two. So I love that. It's a little romance young adult fantasy and then i got six of crows another young adult 
one and these were on the buy one get one half off so i thought why not get this one as well honestly i'm not entirely sure what this one is about all i know is a ton of people love it they've read i think it's like shadow and bone but th they like this one better so i decided to pick this one up instead i got a court of silver and flames because this is the last book that i need to complete the series it is chunk key honestly i don't know why but i don't want to read the back because i know for sure it's gonna have spoilers and i don't want that i got the hardback i'm not really a hardback girly it's not my thing but this is the stolen air by holly black and i wanted to start a series by her or just like a book by her because i've heard nothing but great things about her as an author and so this is one that she i think she recently came out with this one i'm not too sure when and um i'm also not really sure what this is about but have heard really great things about it so i thought why not because i she also wrote the cruel prince trilogy but I'm not really wanting to start another trilogy at the moment because that's all my life will be around. And this one is like, I think the only one right now in like the new series or whatever. So I got that one instead. In the second bag, we got all kinds of things. We literally have so many random type books, but we'll start off with another YA book that I ended up getting because do I really have to say anything right now about this? I feel like one, the cover is beautiful. Everyone's been talking about it. It's another fantasy book. I, again, <laughs> don't know too much other than people have raved about it. I've literally heard nothing but good things. I've not seen a single video that's negative about this, so that makes me really happy. But yeah, this is another one that I picked up. I got A Promise of Fire. It's a fantasy romance. I haven't seen this at all anywhere. Um, I don't also really know what it is. I think I like briefly read the back and it was like, sure, why not? Let's try it. Mostly because someone wrote, I cannot wait to read the next book. Like another author was like that. And so I was like, sure. Why not? But it also says kingdoms will rise and fall for her. Discover the white hot fantasy willing to break all the rules. Uh, yeah. I, I got this one. <laughs> and then I ended up getting another Abby Jimenez book, Yours Truly. I read Part of Your World. And I, that was like, for me, like a five star read. Like I still think about it to this day. I loved literally everything about that book because you had not only like family things or like personal things that they were dealing with, you also had like the love interest and just going through that. And it was in a small town and I just, I thrived. I, I loved her writing. It was so, so easy to read. I think I read that book in like a day and it's, for me, it's not like the smallest book ever either. It's like probably high 400s, like almost a 500 page book. And so I I devoured it, I loved it. And so this one I had to pick up. It's about two doctors, I believe. And I think it's like enemies to lovers-ish. And I don't, well, maybe not. I think it's just she, thinks of him in a certain light but he's not really like that and so that's all I can that's all I really know about it I just picked it up because it's Abby Jimenez I trust her with my life so I thought why not pick up another book by her because I haven't read another one by her yet and I don't have any at home waiting to be read and I feel like the, after the whole Agatar series, I'm gonna want some more drama in my life. Well, Agatar is very drama filled, but more like romance, rom com y type vibes. And that is Abby Jimenez because she only, she also does like life things, which I really like. And it's not just a story about love or it's like cheesy, cringe, that sort of thing. So I love that. And then a book that I've been eyeing for quite literally forever, but it's another series. 
and I'm scared of series. I really don't know why, but I am. I always go and read the back of this book every single time I go to Barnes and Noble, and I absolutely love the thought of this book. Like, I think about it when I'm not reading or I'm trying to figure out a book to read. Like, I want to read this one, but it's a series. But that is Addicted to You, and it is just about two people that have addiction issues and they fall in love and they may not be the best for each other and so there's just like that drama that's honestly all I know about it but I wanted to start the series because also so many people will talk about it and it doesn't seem like too crazy that is what I got and then last but not least I thought so like I have a variety of, of books here and I was like I feel like I need another like thriller mystery you know something like that I want something to scare me when I read it and I haven't really bought a book quite like that yet I don't know why I want to read something like that usually I go for like adventure romance that sort of thing I don't know what compelled me to think this was a good idea I was in the horror section and I saw this author and they had a ton of books kind of like Stephen King basically owns like the whole horror section this other person was also another big person that had a ton of books at first I didn't know if like it was a series or what so I pulled up good read good reads and this author had a ton of good books that were like four stars and above and I mean some maybe not all the way but anyways very good books in other people's eyes and so I was intrigued and this one caught my eye and it's completely different from what I usually pick up and that is the Caro Haunt by <laughs> Darcy Coates never heard of her haven't seen like any of her books ever but it is about Remy who was a tour guide for a notorious haunted Caro 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 house when she asked the host guests for a weekend week long stay in order to research Caro's phenomenon whatever whatever she hopes to finally experience some of the sightings that made the house famous then a storm moves in cutting off their contact with the outside world and things quickly take a sinister turn i loved it i feel like i'm kind of like curious as far as like how she's gonna write ghosts and things that are around them and if it's gonna be able to pull me in and make me feel like I'm there with them because if so I would love that so that is all that I got from my little book haul I have so many books that are series unfortunately so we'll see how that goes but I really oh wait the other day I literally could not wait and bought a book yesterday almost forgot about it <laughs> Lynn Painter's new book The Love Wager do I know what it's about? No, but it looks like they go on dates, but they want each other, maybe. I don't know. It looks so cute. I love Lynn Painter. She's another like auto buy, like Abby Jimenez, where like I literally trust her. I read uh, Mr. Wrong Number, Chef's Kiss. Uh, that's the only book I've read about of her, but I loved it. I also have, um, better than the movies I have that on my shelves right now so I really want to read that one and this one next because like I just love like it's so easy she has like the perfect size books that aren't too big or like too crazy or anything and it's like the perfect entertainment ever and they're just so fun to read I love it so much and so yeah, I also got that one, but that is it. That is the last book that I got for this little book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna see any videos pertaining to these, let me know. I already have a few in mind, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.